Hi my brothers and sisters, uh, this is a first for me, so um, yeah, anyway, it's a bit about revelation and some stuff that's happening in the world at the moment. Um, the first seal is the white horse, now I'm thinking the rider on the white horse is President Obama and his presidential speech in 2008 when there was a white horse uh, on stage or sides of the stage, but he was also... Uh, having his speech done at the uh, seat of Satan, or the seat of Pergamos, okay, so that's the uh, first seal, I believe. The second seal, which is the red horseman, uh, a solar flare that was shaped as a red horse came out of the sun in 11th or 12th of February in 2011, so... Uh, and uh, in the Bible, it says there will be signs in the sun, the moon, and the stars. I mean, these are just things that I'm thinking. If anyone wants to help, these would be great. Um, the black horse, the third seal, is a uh, financial collapse, which you can definitely see is happening in America at the moment. The dollar is going to collapse. That's why they're having all these proxy wars in Ukraine, you know, and then they're trying to get to Syria. So they, you know, are attacking Iraq and everywhere else. I mean, if you can't see this, you need to wake up. Uh, but anyway, on to uh, the fourth seal, which is the pale green horse. Now, Siri said some time ago that the... Hades opens on the 27th of July 2014. Well, that's not too far away. And I really don't see, you know, so in between today's date, which is the 17th of the 6th of June 2014 to the 27th of July. So that's a month and 13 days. So roughly 40 days. I, I can see a financial collapse happening. Sorry, I keep moving closer to the screen. I can see a financial collapse happening and then World War Three because they need to blame it on somebody else. Okay, so, and then seal five is the death of martyrs. I mean, the fourth seal, there's going to be a quarter of the earth is going to be killed via war. And then uh, the fifth seal is the soul of the martyrs for people that were killed in the name of Jesus. So, you know, we are going to die. We're not going home today. We we are probably going to die in the name of Jesus because Jesus said that we will be persecuted. Uh, we won't face great tribulation, but we will be persecuted. We will be arrested. We will be thrown in jail. We will be, you know, in the name of Jesus. So um, that's seal five, the soul of the martyrs, where they claim, you know, how long, O Lord, till you judge the blood on us, on those that dwell on the earth, the earth dwellers. And then the sixth seal, which is the day of the Lord, the rapture, the wrath of the Lamb, and we, as the church, we are not appointed to wrath. So, we'll be out of here. Bang. As soon as the sixth seal comes, we're out of here. Praise Jesus. Alright, any comments? Any help? Much appreciated, because I'm struggling on my own. I listen to a lot of church radio. Uh, I listen to Rapture Ready Radio. I listen to uh, The Lord's Hour. I listen to This Is It Before the Fire 4321. I listen to the Hagman and Hagman program. I listen to X22 Report. I listen to Paul Sandu. There's quite a lot of people that I listen to, to do with finance, to do with Jesus. I read the Bible. I get daily audio podcasts every day. I do my own study, so I have someone audio read to me, and then I read my own. So I, I can I can spend a lot of time because I had an accident 14 months ago. I can devote all my time to Jesus. That's good for me. But other people who work nine to five, seven to three, whatever, you need to find some time in your life to repent for your sins, pray to Jesus, and start reading your Bible, please, people. The end is near. Any comments? Please help.